Gumar climb into the other hole to see other footings. We're getting ready to pour the footings for the staircase that's coming down into here. And the staircase is gonna walk, walk. Exist all the way up through the house. I guess it's gonna walk on up the staircase, ridiculous. But we have water in the hole right now. That's mainly because all the electricity besides these lights, all the electricity shut off and our sump pumps throughout the house aren't running all the time because we're trying to be safe with the demo going on. Traditionally, the sump pumps would be running. There'd be hopefully no water in these holes. So we gotta get that taken care of. But the major concern I have right now is that behind you, Gilmar, we are getting ready to cut out a large chunk of the floor and dig down almost four feet to put a golf simulator in. If we have water at this height and we dig four more feet down, what's going on there? So I'm glad we came over here today to take a look at this, but this is definitely, um, we're gonna have to think about this a little differently because we're essentially building a pool with the golf simulator. That's what we're doing. We're just digging a square in the ground and we're essentially putting a pool with no water in it and that'll displace water and raise the water around here potentially. So we might have to think about putting a sump pump in the bottom of the golf simulator. So it's raining a lot right now and this is what we're dealing with. <laughs> That one's dry. I gotta hike all the way back there now. So, I hate this. They're all dry. That's good news. You gotta, uh, not that I don't, I love our concrete guy, but you gotta inspect what you expect. You know what they say, Kelmar? Gotta see what they're doing, stay informed. I'm trying to get out of this hole right now, but I know! God damn! Ooh. That sucks. We're gonna cover this up. It's a future basement. You'll actually like climb through a hole in the existing basement. Once we're done reframing all this, I won't be there anymore, so you won't have to hop through there like a Mario Brothers. Can you get me like hopping in there like Mario Brother? Give that noise. The current status of the job is demo is really close to being complete. We do have a lot of things like the deck and some chimneys and some really large items that still need to get taken care of in like the upcoming weeks. But for the most part, demo is wrapping up. They still need to go back through and pull all the nails out of the floors and the studs. It's kind of wild you can actually see upstairs right now. <laughs> All the electrician's work is already exposed so he can start pulling out. We are rewiring this entire house. I may have already said that, but it was just at the point where there were so many things to diagnose and move around that it was just easier and simply cheaper to just redo it. And that way we can do it up to our standard as well. But demo's pretty much cleaned up. I'm really happy with how things came out. The guys were really gentle on the house. If that makes any sense, you do want demo guys that are gentle because they need to decide what what level of demo needs to go to? Is it going all the way to the subfloor? Do we need to leave the insulation in like we're trying to do? There are little spots here and there that we're gonna have to replace, but they've done a good job so far. and I'm really happy with it. Next week, we're moving into framing. So we have a couple meetings on Friday that'll go over you know, some of the trades and upcoming rough-ins, and as well as meeting with the framer to kind of get a game plan for the next three, four weeks. We do have probably about six weeks worth of framing and windows and doors to put in. It won't all happen consecutively because the project kind of has to happen in phases. But for the most part, we're all ready to go. We're getting our footing inspection. You saw the footings earlier. We're gonna have to do something about the water today because we got footing inspection tomorrow. Pour concrete before the end of the week. And then next week, we're gonna really start seeing the place change and, and new walls go up. So that's really exciting. <laughs> 